In this video we will look at radiation, especially between surfaces. Electromagnetic waves emit from warm objects and are transferred through space. And here we are going to learn to understand the concept of wavelength and the electromagnetic spectrum, short and long wave radiation, emissivity, and how much heat is transferred between two surfaces. Here we see the whole spectrum of electromagnetic radiation and on the horizontal axis we have the, the wavelength, lambda, with the unit of micrometer, 10 up to minus 6 meters. To the far left we have gamma rays with the shortest wavelength and x-rays, ultraviolet radiation and then we have the visible part which we can see with our eyes and infrared and microwave. Electromagnetic radiation can appear as both waves or photons, like elementary particles, quantum of light. We are especially interested in thermal radiation. It comes from bodies, from matter, which emit it. And if they have temperature between around minus 100 degrees C and 10,000 degrees C, we call it thermal radiation. Uh, and all bodies with those temperatures, they emit radiation. And here to the right we see candlelight, which is one example, which emits both visible light and non-visible light. Um, the emitted power from, from, uh, that comes from, from a body is dependent on the area of the body and the temperature. And with higher temperature it emits much more power. One important property is the uh, emissivity, epsilon from the Greek alphabet. It determines how much a body can, the surface of a body can emit. And the maximum value of epsilon is equal to 1, that's what we call black bodies. And the minimum one is 0. Then we have the short wave radiation, or we call it also solar radiation. It contains the direct rays from the sun or diffuse radiation due to multiple reflections in the atmosphere. And the maximum intensity is roughly 1000 watt per square meter or 1 kilowatt hour per square meter. It's an important part for uh, the energy balance of the houses. And this picture shows how much solar radiation that is transmitted through a single glazing. To the left hand side you see the solar rays uh, with the angle towards the glazing and to the right hand side you see the diagram with uh, the part showing the part of, of the radiation that actually is transmitted uh, through the glass so if we have a quite perpendicular rays towards the glass around 85 percent of the solar radiation is transmitted through the glass while we have a more narrow angle and it comes from the side almost all of it will be reflected away. The other part of, of radiation is the long wave radiation that we uh, work with quite a lot in building physics. So it's a uh, radiation between surfaces, two surfaces. And here we have an example with the red, the warm surface and the blue surface. And both surfaces they are emitting long wave radiation, but the red one emits more, so there will be net transfer of solar radiation from the red to the colder blue surface. On the right here we see a picture of a, a garage. It's actually plus degree in the air, but the, air, the, the roof surface has frost. So it's colder than zero. And that occurs because here we, this will, re, will represent the red surface and it radiates and exchange radiation with the upper atmosphere which is quite cold, you know that when you're in airplanes. So there will be net radiation coming from the roof towards the atmosphere. And this will cool down the surface, so we actually get temperature below zero, even though the air is greater than zero. Emissivity is an important property for materials. And emissivity, it's the amount of showing the capability of a material to emit uh, radiation. Uh, in our applications, the absorptivity of a material, we say it's equal to the emissivity. So if it's good to emit long wave radiation, it's also good to absorb long wave radiation. Here in the table, we have different values for different materials. And we see with shiny, polished 
metal surfaces has a very low emissivity. So they emit, they're a poor emitter of, of radiation and they're also a poor uh, in order to absorb radiation. Uh, regular building materials, they have emissivity of, of around 0.9. And it should be mentioned that we can't determine if it's black or shiny surface. It doesn't say anything about really the emissivity of the material. So we can't detect it with our eyes. To the right here, we see two uh, surfaces, like, like say two, two glasses in a two pane window with uh, both emissivity on both surfaces, the, the warm and the cold surfaces equal to one. Then we have the case when the, the warm uh, surfaces emits maximum power and the, the cold one emits maximum power as well. So this gives a maximum heat transfer. Uh, a well-known technology is to have a low emissivity uh, coating on the glass surfaces. In this case we illustrate with an emissivity of 0 0.1 and in this case if we compare with the, the previous one in this case, that would be a heat transfer by radiation, only 5% of what we had in the previous other case when we had the maximum emissivity of 1. Summary. Matter emits electromagnetic waves. Warmer objects emit more power than colder ones. Only a small part of the thermal radiation is visible for the human eye. Heat is transferred by electromagnetic waves through air and vacuum. Shortwave radiation or solar radiation is partly detectable by the eye. Shortwave radiation can be transmitted through glass. Longwave radiation transfer heat between building surfaces and between building surfaces and the surroundings. The emission and absorption of longwave radiation can be limited by the use of low emissivity surface materials.